So getting a pain in the belly it can be quite a common symptom in people with liver disease and it can be due to a number of different causes. One of the commonest I guess is, is when there's a buildup of fluid in the belly or ascites and that's water that normally just would be flushed out through the kidneys but because of the pressure in the liver it builds up in the abdominal cavity or in, in your belly. So you might notice that your belly is becoming more distended and at the same time you're losing weight more generally. So you might notice that you're getting a bit skinnier around the face or around the upper body but at the same time the belly is becoming more protuberant or enlarged and it might hurt when it becomes more distended like that. So that's ascites and that's a, really a sign that the liver is no longer functioning very well and it needs to be attended to and treated. So there are other causes of getting a belly ache when you've got cirrhosis. One is that the liver may be enlarged due to fat infiltration from alcohol or just from fat or because there's a tumour that's developed in the liver. And when the capsule or the outer lining of the liver is distended or stretched, it causes pain because it's got no fibres. So that may be a cause. The sudden onset of belly ache in somebody with cirrhosis may suggest that there's a really severe complication such as blockage of a vein. So the main vein coming into the liver is called the portal vein and if that suddenly blocks, which it can do, then suddenly the, the gut behind it gets very distended and there can be severe abdominal pain or belly ache. So anyone who gets really severe belly ache in the setting of liver disease needs to be evaluated either by their GP or in the emergency department quickly if it's really severe.